entirety. Kenya has exceptional natural beauty and hospitable people. The sceneries which you are able to, to see, please take advantage for the leisure as well as shooting location. For that, I would like to say Karibu Nisana Nairobi and welcome to the sixth edition of Kalashi International Film and TV Market. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much, our host, Mr. Timothy Owase, and indeed, we are thrilled to be here. Our next speaker, ladies and gentlemen, is the Director General, or the Assistant Director General, my apologies, for Culture from UNESCO. Would you please put your hands together for Ernesto Ortone. So, good morning to all. Um, His Excellency Raymond Umna, Secretary for Youth Affairs, Ministry of Sport, Youth and Arts. Um, Mr. Timothy Owase, Chief Executive Officer, Kenya Film Corporation, Director, Regional Director of UNESCO, ladies and gentlemen, Excellencies. It is our honor as UNESCO to participate on, in the opening ceremony of the sixth edition of the Kalasha International Film Festival and TV Awards and Market, and to celebrate its significant contribution to making Kenya a major regional hub for cultural and creative industries. A recent UNESCO study titled The African Film Industry, Trends, Challenges and Opportunities for Growth revealed on African cinema industry on the continuous rise. Indeed, the report outlined that the film and audiovisual industry in Africa has the capacity to create more than 20 million jobs and generate 20 billion in revenues per year if we build a huge ecosystem. The ongoing digital revolution accelerated by the COVID-19 pandemic has been a game changer for the African film industry. Affordable equipment and availability of platforms to distribute and monetize content are catalyzed for the new digital African creative economy that particularly benefit the young talents across the continent. However, important structural issues remain to be addressed. For instance, Less than half of the Eastern African countries currently possess an established film commission. Across Africa, 50% of potential revenues from CCI is said to be lost through, and that will be the second to mention, piracy. Indeed, in a region where many aspects of the creative economy remain informal, the film and audiovisual industry continue to face multifaceted challenges. Limited availability of data on the industry prevents us from understanding the true scale of the activities in this industry. The lack of access to funding, I'm talking generally in Africa, not in Kenya, to funding and limited capacity to support local content development are also obstacles to achieving a flourishing, a flourishing sector. Ladies and gentlemen, it takes the whole of creative ecosystem to unlock the full potential of the African cinema industries. National governments have an important regulatory role to play, notably the provision of enabling policy environment and the protection of the rights and culture professionals, including fair remuneration, social security, and freedom of artistic expressions. The improvement of the status of artists requires a holistic and inclusive approach, starting from the identification of gaps and needs with diverse stakeholders. As the lead UN entity for culture, UNESCO accompanies the government and civil society alike. The organization provides technical support to its member states and capacity building opportunities to diverse stakeholders. We also offer standard setting frameworks for cultural policy development, implementation, and analysis. 
legal framework like the Diversity of Cultural Expression Convention, the 2005, position creativity as a key pillar for sustainable development. It is in this context that UNESCO and Netflix join forces to support the development of the African film industry through a short film competition entitled African Folk Tales Reimagined. Later today, we will have the pleasure of screening the films and introducing the emerging African storytellers to you, three of which are from Eastern Africa, Kenya, Tanzania and Uganda. I wish to end with words of congratulation to the Kenya Film Commission for hosting this important event and bringing together the diverse actors for timely conversation on the film industry. I'm certain that the Kalasha International Film and TV Market will be the platform that strengthens the existing network as well as stimulates new partnership for the local and regional audiovisual market. I wish you and ourselves a fruitful exchange over the next three days and beyond. Asanteni Shana. Thank you so much. Oops. Thank you very much, Mr. Ernesto Otone, for those remarks. Uh, next, allow me to invite up on stage uh, County Secretary Dr. Jairus Musumba of the Nairobi City County. Bana Musumba, karibu sana. Let's welcome him with a round of applause as he comes up. Karibu. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, all protocols observed. Good morning. Um, I am here on behalf of the governor who would have wanted to be here, but for reasons beyond our control is not uh, in, uh, in the country. But uh, I have a speech on his behalf which I'm going to read word by word. And this is what he says. Uh, it is a great pleasure to welcome you all to this sixth edition of the Kalasha International Film and uh, uh, this edition uh, celebrating the Kenyan film industry, best films and filmmakers. As the governor of Nairobi, I am honored to have this opportunity to address this distinguished audience. I want to thank the organizers for inviting me to be part of this special occasion. The annual Kalash Awards have become an essential platform for recognizing and celebrating the achievements of, of our talented filmmakers. The film industry has come a long way in Kenya and we are proud of the studies, the strides we have made in nurturing local talent and showcasing the best of our culture and stories to the world. Filmmaking is a powerful uh, medium and can inspire, educate, and entertain audiences. It can also create jobs, drive economic growth, and promote social cohesion. The film industry is therefore a crucial sector for the development of a country and county for that matter, and we must do everything we can to support it. As the governor of Nairobi, I'm committed to creating an enabling environment for the film industry to thrive in our city. We are investing in uh, modern infrastructure such as film studios and sound stages. We have streamlined the regulatory processes for film, filming permits to make it easier for filmmakers to work in Nairobi. Actually, at the, uh, as we talk, uh, freelance filmmakers and photographers have been exempted from paying while producing content in, uh, within the, the city. Furthermore, as we are setting, we are setting up a film fund to support lo uh, local filmmakers and help them bring their projects to fruition. The fund will provide uh, financing, mentorship, and networking opportunities to, uh, to emerging and established filmmakers uh, and we have seen great success, uh, stories come of such initiatives. I want to assure you that my administration is committed to creating a conducive environment for the film industry to flourish. 
We recognize the critical role that, 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 that this sector plays in the social, cultural, and economic development of our city and country at large. And we are proud to be partners in this journey. Finally, I want to congratulate all the exhibitors, your work, your hard work, creativity and talent has brought us to where we are today. And we are grateful for, the, for your contribution to the growth and development of film industry. We inspire many and encourage you to continue pushing the boundaries of creativity and innovation. And he has ended by saying he wishes all of us an enjoyable day. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Jairus Musumba, on behalf of our governor. Uh, thank you very much, and please do extend our gratitude to him. Our next speaker, ladies and gentlemen, is our representative from the Ministry of Youth Affairs and the Arts, Mr. Raymond Ochieng, Secretary Youth Development from the State Department of Youth Affairs and the Arts. Mr. Raymond Ochieng, please do come up, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome him with a round of applause. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Nairobi. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I would want to begin by acknowledging the presence of uh, Ernesto Tone, Assistant uh, Director General for Culture, UNESCO, uh, the County Secretary representing the County Governor uh, of Nairobi, Professor Hubert uh, Jizen, uh, the Regional Director and Rep of UNESCO, Chief Executive Officer, Kenya Film Commission, uh, Timothy Owasi, Heads of States and Agencies and Government Representatives uh, today uh, uh, from the Ministry and beyond, other UNESCO representatives uh, accompanying uh, the leadership present here today, Netflix representatives, Kalasha Market 2023 sponsors, members of the fourth estate, uh, CEOs uh, representing creative organizations in this country, and also the creatives themselves. And also our viewers watching us from home, ladies and gentlemen, once again, good morning. Before I read the speech of uh, the cabinet secretary who was to be with us here, and has got exigency of duty and could not uh, make it. But before this meeting today, I must admit we have had a very robust discussion with the UNESCO uh, leadership led by Ernesto. We've had GIZ also joining in and we've really reviewed where we are as a country in terms of where we are taking the creative space and the ecosystem analyzing the gaps that we have, and also dovetailing how we can uh, make sure that the next generation, who we call the next gen, are part and parcel of this. Uh, the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics uh, census of 2019 indicate 75% of our population is youth. Africa continually is growing to be the youngest continent with the median age of 22 years. So when we project 10 years from now, we are going to be having majority of our population being young people. And therefore that tells you the demographic dividend that we can reap from this and the strength of that cohort of the major population. In terms of the dynamism, digitalization, savviness, and the opportunities that that generation can take. And I must admit, in the post-COVID era and during COVID, creative sector were our second doctors. They sustained lives and beyond uh, people struggling with COVID, this made the world to be entertained. It kept people indoors to have hope. Some kept us smiling. And I believe this is why this sector is so key. And in the perspective and the position of the cabinet secretary, this is a sector that must be amplified, must be grown to be a fully sustainable sector. And to quote the words of the CEO today, 
we must not put pressure on the next generation to only be doctors. Being doctors is good enough and great enough for your country. We cannot only have lawyers, we cannot only have engineers, but we must also be very grateful as a country that creative sector is also a sector that should employ and create employment and make those who have invested and put those work, piece of work, uh, to also earn from them. And therefore, that's where we are going, and that's the conversation that we are having. And we are very open to these conversations, and all partners who are here, we may have not acknowledged you in this speech. I see uh, various partners, we are all important, and we must all be hands on deck, if I quote uh, my cabinet secretary. And therefore, ladies and gentlemen, uh, without much further ado, allow me to read the speech of Honorable Ababu Namwamba, who is also going to uh, meet and create time to have a conversation with the stakeholders that we have today, the outcomes of what we are going to be having in these three days, and our honorable guests who have come, I believe we, we have many things to follow up, and we have many things that we need to do as a country, and we are ready to do it with the leadership of our cabinet secretary. And therefore, uh, allow me to read now the speech of the cabinet secretary. I take this opportunity to welcome all regional international guests to Kenya and specifically to the sixth edition of Kalasha International and Film Market, an initiative of the Kenya Film Commission. I must commend KFC for being consistent with the market, ensuring that the industry remains steadfast. This market is an indication that indeed Kenya is ready uh, for film business. The Ministry of Youth Affairs, Arts and Sports is elated to be part of this three-day event where we will learn, unlearn, relearn on how best we can further and grow our industry. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to reiterate the Ministry's support towards ensuring that the industry remains on upward trajectory. As I had mentioned during the Kalasha Awards 2022, we have set the film industry as the cornerstone for the creative economy in the country, which is a priority of my ministry and the, and the Kenya Kwanzaa government. Further, my ministry is developing key policies to help in management of the creative space so as to fully realize Kenya's creative potential. Ladies and gentlemen, my ministry will additionally focus on promoting local films and initiating co-production agreements with countries such as South Africa, Israel, France, China, and Nigeria. And UNESCO is also having a great conversation with us, how we can plug in all the 54 countries and beyond. I recently met Kenyan actors on, Netf uh, uh, actors on Netflix, and I was elated by the experiences and insights they gave on conquering the international film space. Kenya's film industry is experiencing commendable growth and is receiving international recognition. As such, initiatives such as Kalasha market undertaken by the KFC will boost the country's portfolio and as well as create partnerships with international markets to invest and produce audiovisual content in Kenya. The market therefore will ensure further stakeholder participation as we continue to share knowledge learnings, experiences with and from international film players. Ladies and gentlemen, this year's market theme is film distribution in the 21st century. As an industry, we need to think ahead and take advantage of the emerging technologies that is revol revolutionizing the film industry. Artificial intelligence, AI, is quickly becoming a game changer in the film industry. From script writing and casting to special effects and distribution, AI is transforming the way movies are made and seen. One of the biggest advantages of AI in the film industry is its ability to save time and resources. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, the history of film in the last period of the 20th century and beginning of the 21st century has been shaped in part by the new technologies and the expansion of the media culture that such technologies is fostering. Let us not be left behind in this paradigm shift. 
And that's why the critical partners we have here, we want to work hand in hand to ensure that we achieve this together. The Kalasha International Film and TV Market provides a unique platform for film stakeholders to share knowledge over such issues and as well develop business opportunities through networking and capacity building. And therefore, finally, on the final stretch, Kenya is ready for film business. And I want to emphasize, Kenya is ready for the film business. And the ministry in charge is doing all it can to what Professor Gizen was talking about in terms of the enabling environment. And the, uh, the cabinet secretary is very much aware in terms of making sure that ecosystem and the environment of this is made. From tax rebates, making sure incentives are, are enhanced and are made permanent is going to be very key. And therefore, Kenya is ready for film business. Over the next three days, Kenya Film Commission has created a space for buyers and content creators in the region and internationally to meet and sell, showcase, and promote the quality and skills of content creators. Show me a better platform than this, and they're all out there. There's no better platform than what, ladies and gentlemen, have mounted outside here. As I conclude, I urge all, all our regional stakeholders and international guests to explore Kenya to the fullest and take advantage of this three-day market meant to encourage growth and creativity in content creation. And therefore, the Big Bang is, I now take this opportunity to declare the sixth edition of Kalasha International Film and TV Market of officially opened. Check. All right, I think we're going to do take two. It would not be a proper film festival and market if we didn't need to do take two. So, ladies and gentlemen, First of all, allow me to just extend gratitude to uh, Raymond Ocheng, the Secretary of Youth Development, and please pass those uh, salamos back to Bonacias. I'm very excited to have heard a few words in there. I heard film business. Um, I heard sector, industry, ecosystem, enabling environment, incentives. Those are all wonderful things, and we look forward to working together with you and the CS and your entire team to achieve each and every one of those promises. Team, are we ready? Perhaps as that is happening, allow me to invite back up on stage all our speakers this morning so we can just take advantage of how wonderful you look and take a few photos. So in no particular order, Bona Timothy Owase, CEO of the Kenya Film Commission, please do come up. Mr. Ernesto Otone, please join me up on stage. From UNESCO, Dr. Jairus Musumba, uh, representing Nairobi City County, please come up. Mr. Raymond Ochieng. Let's go ahead and take a photo. The requirements are that you smile. We must see your teeth. If that is missing, you are not leaving the stage. Could we take this away, ladies and gentlemen? Are you able to see them, or how would you like them to be positioned? We take this down, okay. Some strong men, yes. I'm too cute today. I would have helped you. <laughs> Just a reminder for those of you who are tuning in from our YouTube pages on the Kenya Film Commission account and the Facebook pages as well. Uh, please remember that the social media pages uh, and accounts are hashtag Kalasha Market 2023. We are on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, Kenya Film Commission, and of course on Twitter as well. Please go ahead and start doing the thing on the social media. Thank you, Regional Director, for joining us as well for this photo. 
Let me stand here and make sure I can see teeth. Can you see teeth, ladies and gentlemen? Not yet, not yet. They said, you need me. I was waiting, I was just waiting. You know, all the other times I went downstairs, this one I stayed here, so you could invite me. I wonder why people keep quiet when they're taking photos. It's not like we're recording anything. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Are you ready for the sixth edition of the Kalasha International Film and TV Market? Because if you're not, I cannot release you out into the exhibition hall, which is what we would like to do now, just to take a few minutes for you to tour the exhibition uh, and see some of the different exhibitors, companies. Um, but I just want to do a quick poll. How many of us are students in the room? Everybody's hand should be up. You're a student of life, are we not? Okay. How many of us are in uh, government? My hand will be up for all of them, even if it's not true. How many of us are in the film distribution space or content distribution space? Yes, I see some familiar faces. That number needs to go up. I only see three or four hands. Five, okay. How many of us are actors or thespians on screen or on stage? Great. How many of us have money to give all of us to make films? Everybody pay attention to whose hand is up and make sure you talk to them before this this particular uh, market is over. And how many of us are just here because they thought this was an interesting topic? How many were just walking past KICC and were like, what's happening? They are tense. All right. <laughs> Welcome to all of you. Please do enjoy yourselves. Are we ready, tech team? Yes, we are. Please pay attention to the screens. I believe we're now ready. Welcome to the sixth edition of the Kalasha International Film and TV Market. We have an exciting array of conferences and workshops from film industry experts from across the world. Come and experience three days of film and TV exhibitions by industry players within Kenya and across the continent. This year's uh, Film and TV Market brings together buyers and sellers of content and we'll have discussions that are themed around regulatory framework, business of film, uh, distribution, funding, co-production, among other topical issues that are so critical to this industry. If you're not going to be there, you're going to miss out so big. To we'll see you at the sixth edition of the Kalasha Film and TV Market from the 29th to the 31st of March. Everybody, a round of applause. We are officially open for business. Now, just a quick reminder our first panel will be in this room in the next uh, 20 minutes, I believe. In the next 20 minutes, uh, the topic will be making Kenya film investor friendly. I will be the moderator, and my panel will consist of uh, Mr. Timothy Owase, Jim Shamoon of Blue Sky, and Bongal. Excuse me, I'm going to have to say that again. Mr. Marala of the Eastern Cape Provincial Arts and Culture Council. So please do join us back here at 10.30 a.m. so that we can begin our conversations and we'll share a little bit more about what is on the program. Welcome to all of you. Karibu sana.
KTN News. Get the whole story. Jake cleans and kills 99.9% .9 of illness causing germs and COVID-19 in your home. Jake, your family's guardian against germs and COVID-19. Jake cleans and kills 99.9% .9 of illness causing germs and COVID-19 in your home. Jake, your family's guardian against germs and COVID-19. Come to this 